Hi YouTube and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm just going to be making a very simple recipe, um, a cream cheese, well it's actually a caramel cream cheese frosting. Um, I'm going to start out with one brick of cream cheese softened into room temperature and also one stick of butter also softened into room temperature. Put those right in the bowl. I have three tablespoons of caramel sauce. Now I did make my own and you guys are more than welcome to make your own. In fact, I'll link the uh, recipe to this in the description box below. But if you don't want to make your own and you want to just buy the stuff from the store, it's going to taste just as good. This is such gooey stuff. Alright, that's about three tablespoons. And then I'm just going to take my mixer and mix this up well. Alright, now that my butter, cream cheese, and caramel are all incorporated, I have three cups of powdered sugar. Now the secret to frosting is they're kind of temperamental. <laughs> sometimes they can end up a little too dry, sometimes um, there's just not enough moisture in there. So what I like to do is start off, rule of thumb, I use about three cups of powdered sugar, but I sift it first. It always helps uh, with the lumps in your frosting. Anything homemade is going to be a little imperfect because we're human. But I am just going to add about three cups, and if I don't add that much, I will let you know. Like I said, it's temperamental. If you're kind of familiar with making bread, a lot of times, you know, the recipe will say, hey, use X amount of cups of flour, and then you end up using too much, not enough, depending on the moisture in the air that day, the humidity going on. Frosting is a little bit the same way. So I'm just going to sift and blend and sift and blend and kind of when I'm happy with the consistency and taste of my frosting is when I'll stop. And if I add too much, you could always use a tablespoon of milk to kind of soften it back up again. So I will sift and mix, sift and mix and I'll bring it back when I'm happy with what I've got. I am happy with the consistency of my frosting. It should uh, hold up well when I'm trying to frost my cake tomorrow. Uh, for right now, I think I'm just going to store this in the fridge overnight. Or if you were ready for it uh, right now, I would maybe store it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before you're ready to start frosting, just so it has time to kind of firm up a little bit. But that is it. That is how I make my caramel cream cheese frosting. It's delicious on regular cupcakes or brownies or maybe if you're trying to do like a spice cake. Um, I'm gonna be making an apple cake tomorrow. But uh, this is it. I hope you guys like today's recipe and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy what I do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's perfectly free and it would help my channel grow a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.